You guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. <sighs> you guys. Here's the deal. For the past month or so, I've had something cooking up here, and I feel like it's time to let you in on just a little bit of it. Just a taste, just a little bit. First, I need to introduce you to someone, so we're gonna do that. But you guys, I need you to come back here because we have to talk. Hey, what's going on guys? I am here at Justin Nygren's house. He's the guy back here. I don't know what I'm pointing at because I don't have a little screen to look at. But I'm going to tell you more about him later and why he's so important to Tacos and Tunes. But essentially everything we do wouldn't be going on if it wasn't for this guy. And today we're meeting at his place because we have some really exciting news. Things that are beginning to form. Things that we've hinted at before. Things that I probably, to be honest, won't be able to share with you for quite a little while now. But I can tell you this. Things are about to get really exciting or we're about to fail spectacularly, but something great's gonna happen. Stay tuned. I wanna take a quick break from all the fun stuff that we're doing with the whiteboards and the sticky note. Let our brains rest and introduce you to this guy. This is Justin Nygren. Justin is one of the co-founders of Art Love Magic, which is a great local nonprofit that does a lot to kind of give a platform to local artists and empower them to do what they do and to thrive. He was also uh, one of the co-founders of The Grove, a co-working space that really focused on social entrepreneurship. And funny thing about The Grove, uh, gosh, two years ago, I had a weird idea. I called Justin, I said, hey, I have a quick idea. Uh, it's called Tacos and Tunes, and I, that's all I got out. And he goes, awesome. I love tacos. I love tunes. Let's We're talk. Yeah. We had this meeting and kind of walked him through. Here's my vision for this deal. And we kind of had no idea what we were doing. We put it on Instagram. A bunch of strangers showed up, and it was like this really cool, it was a beautiful night. Beautiful night. So, uh, Justin, if you had like a couple sentences, if you could boil down like your personal mission so that they know who you are, what would you say that is? My personal mission is to create space for people to thrive. It doesn't limit me to just creatives or just from you know, one, one area. Um, so that's expressed itself, like you said, in multiple ways. It's creating space for people to become more fully who they are and uh, live lives that are meaningful. So I guess it, within that kind of that to create a, a space for those people and everything. If you, and I know that kind of, that extends to a lot of people, not just creatives. If there was one thing you wish you could communicate to them or one of the biggest things, what what would that be? For someone watching who can't afford 30 minutes with Justin Nygren. <laughs> <laughs> if you need 30 minutes with me, call me. I, we, let's, let's go get coffee. The most uh, empowering thing that people can know is that they are loved and supported. Mm. For creatives, a lot of times we don't take the risk in expressing that because we don't know if people are going to support us in mm. that mm -hmm. dream and that part of who we are. Um, and I think that you will never really understand and know how much people really support you unless you take that risk. So there's a little bit, you know, there's a little bit of a, a gap in getting to understand and experience what I wish artists knew. Yeah. Right? So there's that, you know, they have to take that step. But when you do, you find that there is a community there for mm -hmm. you. Um, I think that's what's so important about Tacos and Tunes and why I believe in what you guys are doing and why I want to support you as much as I do is because you are creating that space for artists to experience that kind of support. Mm -hmm. You are loved and you are supported um, and you're not as crazy as your parents think you are. <laughs> that was one take right now. That's so good. It took me like five takes just to get the <laughs> intro in. That was so eloquent. That's why you're the man. We talk a lot about collaboration and you can boil that down to even more, I think, fundamental and more important elements. It's not just about co-writing a song with someone else, but it's about having those people. When I had my idea and I'm talking about tacos and tunes, there were friends that I went and I told that idea to and they were like, that's a little on the nose, you know what I mean? Tacos and tunes, but I had someone to reach out to to go, hey, I have this idea. And they're like, ah, 
done. Let's let's figure it out. It's the whole reason we're here today talking through this awesome other idea which I want to share with you so bad but I don't even know how to articulate yet. But to have someone that you go like, man that's that person I can turn to because something that I think is hard for creatives to come to terms with is the fact that um, you probably can't execute this by yourself and that's okay. A good buddy of mine, Joseph Guzman, we were sitting around drinking beers and having a good time and this phrase that he said just stuck with me. If what you want to do can be done alone, you're thinking too small. Oof, that's good. And that's been like a life statement for that's me. That's like so good. I had it on my whiteboard on the refrigerator, um, and I feel like that's what you're trying to embody. Uh, it's not yours alone to own. Absolutely. That's so good. See, again, I just talked for like 10 minutes and he was like, give me a minute. I can sum it up in a sentence. We're going to get back to work on this idea, maybe make another gin and tonic or three, and I will see you guys on the other side. So. Look, I know, I know, I know. I'm always up here on the roof, but this is just where I come when I need to think. I realized that I said at the beginning of this video that we needed to talk and I wanted to tell you something. And then in that last clip, I said like three times that I can't really say much yet. So here's what I can say. Let's go for a walk. I told you guys when we started this vlog that we were about more than just a weekly vlog or a monthly music and food event. As a matter of fact, we started these weekly videos because we wanted to prove passion for the creative community in Dallas and start a conversation around that. Here's the deal. It worked. It happened. A lot of you guys have reached out to me looking for ways to plug into the creative community more deeply or get more involved with Tacos and Tunes or even just looking for a certain level of support as an artist or a creative yourself. What we're working on right now is an idea that's going to facilitate all of that. We are doing our best to invest heavily in the creative community in Dallas. See, the thing that has always set us apart, the thing that sets the vlogs apart, the thing that has set our monthly events apart is soul. It's the heart and soul of the events. And that ultimately is you guys. I know it's a little cheesy, but you've heard that old song by the killers, I've got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Well, here's the thing. I've got the idea. I have the heart of this idea. I've got soul and now I need soldiers. So as ambiguous as all of this is, if you're listening to this right now and your toes are starting to tingle and you're thinking, oh my God, I want to be a part of this, reach out to me, share this video. I'll say something in the comments, tag someone in this video, send me an Instagram message, send me an email. I don't care what it is. You and I should talk because something's coming and I think, I think that I'm probably gonna need your help. Listen, I know I'm being frustratingly unspecific, but believe me when I say, if you have time, talent, or money that you want to invest in an idea that could change our city, that could change this city, reach out to me and let's talk because I might have what you're looking for.